Hi Nicola, it's Hi. beautiful. <laughs> I have some questions your followers asked. The first one, do you have your horses at home? Yes, I do. Actually, this is my home. This is the way up to the stable. So, yeah, they're not in my living room, but they're at home. How long do you live in Bad Gasteinstall, Wetzel? Good. We moved here four years ago and we built this house and the stable, so it's all quite new. Is it your own stable? Yes, it's our own stable. Is it a private stable or are there other riders also? It's a private stable. I have horses I have here for training that are not mine, like Harry for example, but I don't have other riders here. Do you think a Shetland pony could do dressage? Ah, talking about Shetland pony. This is Yoshi and Lara and yes, they could do dressage for sure because Shetland ponies are really clever. I think a Shetland pony could do like everything. Since when or how long are your horses with you? Um, it depends. Dondona for example is with me almost 10 years. His best friend Yoshi as well. Um, Lara, <laughs> who's in the bucket at the moment, is with us for nine years. Kixi um, came to our stable six years ago. Um, Buffy only this last November and Harry just a few weeks later. So you have five horses and two ponies in your stable at the moment? Yes. And you ride them all? Yes, uh, not the Shetland ponies. <laughs> is it your full-time job? Um, actually no, actually we have a, a hotel but yeah, I spend most of the time in the stables. Which winter blanket do you use on days when it's really cold like today? Um, I found this small German company called Grüner and they produce beautiful blankets like the one Harry is wearing at the moment and they're really perfect for super cold weather. What is your favorite breed? Hard to say. I don't know actually. I don't care. I have Oldenburgers, I have Hanoranas, Buffy is a Rheinländer, so it doesn't matter. And what was your favorite breed when you were small? <laughs> it was New Forest ponies, but they were terrible. <laughs> but it was my favorite breed. <laughs> have you ever tried a saddlebred as dressage horse? Interesting question. No, I haven't. What is your favorite horse color? Also hard to say. I always thought I loved dark horses most, but as you can see, I have chestnuts. I have all kinds of colors. I think it depends on the talent and the character, really. What's most important when finding your horse? I don't know. Actually, it's like with humans, it's simple. And it's, yeah, for sure, talent, character, yeah. Which one is your favorite soul horse and how did you find him or her? Um, I don't have one favorite horse. I think all my horses that are my stable are my favorite horses. If you had to choose and you just could keep two horses, who would it be? Luckily, I don't have to choose. <laughs> when will we meet again? Simone, come by every time you want to. <laughs> you mainly have stallions. How does it work so harmoniously? I think it's a mix of my stallions have very sweet characters, but it's also a bit of discipline. It's also a question of daily workout, of how calm it's in the stables. Yeah. Stallions can be quite difficult in hand sometimes. How do you cope with that? I haven't experienced that so far. I think if a stallion really trusts you, they're as easy as every kind. Oh, this is Kixie. This is Kixie, yes. <laughs> What breed is he? Kixie is an Oldenburger stallion. And how old is he? Kixie is 11. Hi, Anita. Hi. <laughs> so do you have a groom? Do you have other stable help or do you do it all on your own? We have Anita, who is mainly managing our stables and me <laughs> and otherwise we're doing it on our own. What is the one grooming product you can't live without? What is the one grooming product I can't live 
it's made of the tail. It's, it's a mane and tail spray, and yeah, I can't live without it. Which is your favorite brand of equestrian tech? That's easy. It's Piers of Sweden, for sure. And also, Accu Horse Mat, which we use on mainly all the horses. And I love my Uber helmets. Which saddles do you use? I use uh, Spirik, which is a small manufacturer from Switzerland, and custom saddles. Who was your most complicated horse so far? Don de Lofeshorn. Not the stallions? No, <laughs> the stallions are super easy once you know them. <laughs> it's quite cold today. At which temperatures do you quit riding? Never. Really? Yes. <laughs> I love riding. What does a typical day for your horses look like? Um, mainly we work all the horses in the mornings. So we do schooling, lunging, work in hand, whatever. Um, in between they have paddock sessions, like you saw Harry in between. Um, then they have their lunch break and afternoon is for spa, so they would go on the treadmill, they have their spa sessions, yeah. Okay, now some personal questions. Who is your role model? It's Ingrid Kimke. How and when did you start riding? When I was four years old on a Shetland pony of a friend of my father. Have there been riders in your family? No. How and when did you start dressage? I think when I was about nine years old. What because was my trainer just told me to. <laughs> what was your first horse like? My first horse, how practical, <laughs> was called Ali Baba. <laughs> and he was really sweet. He was owned by my trainer and she sold it to my family. This is a picture when I was 10 years old and it was our first victory. How did you get into competing? With this horse, because my trainer just, yeah, got me to the competition and set me on the horse and said, go. <laughs> what was your biggest or for you most important success so far? I think exactly this one, because it was my very first competition, it was a regional championship and it was my first success. And every time I look at this picture, it really, it's the one thing that keeps me going. So your future goals against some regionals? <laughs> yes, and perhaps something bigger as well. But first, I really want to build up this tiny training stable and really want to train young horses, especially stallions, because I love them. Okay, back to private. Did you study? Yes, I studied sociology and hotel management. How come your English is so good? I studied in English and I spent like most of the time in English speaking countries and with English speaking people. Do you have a boyfriend or are you married? I married my boyfriend and the love of my life. <laughs> what does. <coughs> who does. I'm a little bit flattered. Who does take all the beautiful pictures? It's Herbie, the one behind the camera. <laughs> Can you greet Mike? Will you come to Equitana this year? Perhaps. Do you have time for a coffee? No. <laughs> I have to go train Kixi. It seems you're enjoying this. 